Anyone else running into this problem where you minimize your black desert online and it's suddenly like you check the minimization and uh, BDO is not there. I'm starting to get into this problem. I don't know why. How's it going, beautiful people? I haven't had, haven't had, haven't have, haven't has, haven't has, and has a bizarre. Uh, I didn't have uh, for a long ass time like a private video where I just basically don't have like any highlights. I do have highlights, but I wanted to create like something basically, you know, we're having a private conversation you know what i mean i'm trying to get money basically and uh so far i got two costumes i'm basically trying to get as much money as possible for the saturday stream god damn i'm happy man it just it just feels very nice to just you know think about future and what it holds and and uh yeah people's thought I, I showed it in the last video at the end of the video but yeah i'm not lying you can exchange for a blacksmith in velia for the corvina legendary and you can come here and exchange for a necklace or a ring or whatever you're trying to get lucky it's pretty it's majority of the time it's gonna be trash or sometimes you're gonna get lucky with those metal c ring that's from bartering last night couple of manos pieces oh uh the new yeah the new update came out so i, I guess i can talk about that because you're probably wondering like what is he gonna say because he, he does bartering what is he doing? pretty cool like the update is actually really nice you can get the new flowers you can get the new double breezy sale will i go for the double breezy uh i will think about it didn't get uh the, the flower some people are getting like insane amounts of flowers these things the aquila's flowers you need a thousand of them and i haven't looked into it too much but i know you have to get a thousand of these and then you have to buy something from the um, lima island or the crow's nest and um you're gonna get it but basically it's just a more grind in bartering which i don't mind you can actually just buy the double breezy sale all you need is two million crow coins if you don't know how much that is um uh, money wise that's around 200 billion but 200 billion is much easier to get than crow coins it's gonna take you literally grinding for a year every single day non-stop um but yeah now i'm gonna go back to bartering just because it's basically the best way to i can get money so i'm just trying to get as much money as possible the new sailors as well came out they uh in the patch notes they said that they only spawn in velia or ilia i want i found one in velia and i found one in uh in ilia so um managed sailors so this one i found in ilia which is the force it doesn't mean damage it means like vision or some sort of it doesn't give damage it gives like range angle and and uh, distance maybe people can confirm it in the comment section below but um this one was quick i think if i remember correctly it has like a cool mohawk and a red skirt and this was realistic there we go realistic and uh, this one had vision 15 percent innocent sailors um in my opinion are the best just because they can scale the best uh on paper am ambitious should be but they only go to level 10 and get three percent this level 9 guy is already 3.1 percent this guy's 3.2 percent basically perfect innocent at level 10 should potentially even go to 4.1 or 4.3 percent which is insane you gotta get lucky on every single roll to get the max roll i don't know if anyone got it but it's insane this one i probably throw out the window 2.6 percent and he's level level seven oh, i'm not getting lucky with the innocence at all but hey it's part of the game part of the game dude. i guess this is a pretty much a bartering video i can like give you another quick little tutorial maybe and uh, maybe some of you will learn. I talked about the sailors, which one is the best. They, it's in the innocent, just because it's scale, it can potentially scale better. How do you make money from bartering? It is basically selling tier five. And uh, the main story is you can actually do your own math, but you can also trade tier fives to um, C coins, but you just do the, the best ones. So for those uh, people who want to calculate their level, it's basically uh, you calculate your sequence value at your server. So how you do that is basically go to the market, uh, open up uh, accessories, aka the Manos accessory. Check out which is the one. Stop. Check out which is the one the highest price at the moment at the base. Two three five, right? Two three five probably will sell pretty quickly. That is the amount of silver you're gonna get. Jk, we're gonna tax it first. 0.845 point eight four five 
and uh, then we get 198 million with a little bit so that is the amount of silver that you're gonna get for 2500 sea coins because that is the trade you do at lima island so you take the 198 million five hundred thousand that we got the number before divide that on 2.5k and we get 79,430 sea coins or one sea coin is valued at 79,400 coins right oh also um i just accidentally shot but they added the uh, new shooting thing which is now very lovely if you did not know you can pretty much now shoot without uh any cooldowns no 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 and also you want to now press explore instead of supply uh the reason is because now you can actually get those flowers from exploring so if you are going for bree uh for the double breezy sale it's a very good way to get it also you can now get a quest if i remember correctly now basically now exploring is basically back on the table because i used to just click on supply because you get so many penalties and there's it's very rare you're gonna get something good so i just get stick to supply so yeah the shooting thing the reason why it's amazing um so on valor let's say i wanted to shoot like further in the distance see at the bottom right how it charges up right it hasn't yet started at 12 seconds that the valor has now it started so after 12 seconds i can you know shoot it again right but with the e ability i can shoot max distance instantly and it already sticks I don't need to wait for that charge to build up which is amazing i can shoot max range instantly boys and girls it is amazing also you can shoot instantly on the second so let's say there's a there's a double team coming in your way and you're just enjoying yourself and shooting your uh, uh just you know shooting some monsters and then you check left and there's a guy here so you shoot him too. Whew. It is an amazing chain. I went into the cracks and uh, did some uh, research. <laughs> I first time basically grinded there for a little bit for one hour with the loot scroll. And the aggress fever actually works. So you actually get the, the passive and it ticks off when you actually are farming the crocs. So yeah, I got some for one hour of loot scroll. I went there and I grinded a little bit with a dual partner for the 45 minutes. And um, the reason I think I got 3,300. It was like the first time ever doing, so I, th I think we did good. 3,300 trash loot, that's like 33 mil pure silver. And we also got a bunch of these materials. Um, also, I didn't get a map piece, which is the new part of, um, or potentially you can get that. And uh, I didn't get it, my but my duo partner, I think Leighton. I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names. Don't take it personally if I don't remember your name also. Because uh, someone came into the stream and said like, Hey, do you remember me? And I honestly say no. I don't lie. I apologize. It's just too many names. I just... It's not like I don't... Just don't ask like, do you remember me? more give me more like hey do you remember that time where we like went on a trip in like monster hunter or did you remember the time that like we did the the, the thing in the that game like give me that like give me a memory don't give me a name i don't remember names dude the duo partner actually got three map pieces i think he got two map pieces before and in that session he got one extra map piece which he found out is uh too bad i don't have a picture but he found out that like the three map pieces are separate so you basically can like have like a nine piece map which is insane because it sounds like something from pirate of caribbean like bro it sounds so sick um uh, i can't wait to try and like maybe like you i don't know dude maybe you like map the piece and you get a free like i don't know i don't know sounds incredible like i don't know i really want to um I want to, I really want the map. <laughs> I want to see like what the hell that is. It sounds incredible in my mind. It's probably going to be a disappointment, but hey, it's about the journey. It's not about the goal. It's the same thing with me dreaming about my own house or my my own apartment. Well, I'm lost to Margoria. But yeah, um I think now with the shooting update, I think maybe I'm going to go for the blue piece uh for the um, at least a cannon. 
I haven't even looked into why, what do I need for the blue piece. Maybe I can look into it this now, I guess. I guess I'm not doing anything. Okay, so I need a permit for 1 billion. Okay, seems doable. Uh, I need the wave plywood, polish support, and wave residue. Obtain manufacture processing window, violent sea monster scale, saltwort crocodile scale, and you get one. This one. Salt water crocodile scale. So you combine these two. Dedicated ply with this. Violent sea monster bone. I assume this one, yes. Wait, we actually need to buy that? We can't just get it? And then we still... I thought that I was like, I'm gonna give, get away with uh, not having uh, sequence for this. But you still need a bunch of sequence, I assume. Okay, got it. So basically, I will need to still buy the, those things. The Starlight and Mufli Sephir. It costs two... F Wait, why, why would I buy this and just not buy the material? That doesn't make any sense. It costs 250 right? It costs 350 the whole item. Why would I buy a side item to have on, to grind for another item and add like another 100 coins? I guess I save 10,000 sea coins. So I save myself 10,000. I save myself two days by grinding for even longer. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that, Chief. I thought that I could like grind my way, like grind sea monsters to not. And I need to save sea coins if I'm gonna go for the blue piece, huh? Oh, shucks. Or just grind sea coins. Just have like a hundred thousand sea coins, right? How much are those parts? Like a hundred, a hundred plus a bill. Just for the one blue piece, huh? It's insane. Yeah, I forgot to end the video and uh, I'm gonna continue on bartering just because, well, because, you know, I need to earn money. Or one, 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 one. Um, also, this reset, actually, I got the six for uh, the flowers. So that was the first ever time that I can actually exchange blue ones into the flowers. So now I have a eight. Obviously, I need a thousand. It's gonna take me a while. But hey, I'm not rushing anywhere. I'm just chilling. Also, I did the, the rifts, so I'm going to open up the rifts uh, later. I just wanted to have like a nice conversation with uh, just me and you. Because technically, this is me and you, but there's many of you watching this. So it's still crazy to think about it. Hundreds or thousands of people are listening to what I'm saying right now. Half of you are asleep, probably. Not even responding to what I'm saying right now. Still blows my mind. So yeah, shout out to you if you're still listening and paying attention. Thank you very much. It means very, very much.